We are down in St. Pete Beach for spring break and we've been looking for more open air things to do like to go eat and just to go out for like little shopping markets and they have something in the area called the Saturday Market that we went to over the weekend and it was so much fun. They have different vendors of food and plants, herbs, fresh vegetables, but they also had an amazing little crystal stand. And I don't know how that gentleman fit this much stuff into one little stand, but there were so many amazing finds, great deals on crystals and gemstones. But you guys, I did some filming for you while we were there. You're not gonna believe some of the items that I found. So let's get into it. So here are the stones that I picked up and we'll start with this one. This is a piece of African spirit quartz, which is a type of amethyst. I love how it has all the different points here, as you can see. This is a really great meditation stone. A lot of people think of these as dream stones. They're supposed to be good for interacting with your spirit guides. But as you guys know, I love amethyst and pretty much any, anything purple, so I was happy to find this. This was $10, so a mark in there. It's like a deep purple line inside of it. Next, I wanted to show you some of the slices of blue lace agate. Now, I love blue lace agate, but we only have small tumble stones, so I was excited to find these pieces. These two are very similar. Now, I picked this one for me. 
And then I saw this one and for some reason I just thought my daughter might like this. So I picked this one for her. This is a very calming stone. It's really good for people that suffer from anxiety or have just, you know, nervousness when they're about to go speak in public or even performance. My son's an orchestra student, so sometimes when he's performing, I like for him to have one of these with him. I love the way these feel. They just have a very smooth texture. It's like a, I don't know, it's almost like a silkiness to it. But it's a very cool stone too when you touch it. This one obviously has some of the matrix that it came out of still on here. But my daughter liked this piece and these were $3 each. And then my son picked his own piece. The piece that he picked is here. It almost looks like a piece of sea glass. When they were ringing me up yesterday, that's what she said as well. She was like, this reminds me of a piece of sea glass. And then I found a big slice of it, and I cannot remember. I think this was maybe $5 or $6, but it's a huge slice. But very inexpensive prices. And the pale blue on this is just a calming color in general. But I like that this was kind of a triangular shape. I may set it up like just on display like this somewhere in the house. Very good stone for your throat chakra and also for communication. Another blue stone that we found were these pieces of celestite. My daughter almost got one and then she changed her mind and went for some pyrite towards the end. But this is the piece of celestite that I picked, also known as an angel stone. And the sparkles on this are just unreal. This piece was $15, which I think was a really good value for what this is. He had a few other pieces. He had some that were 15, some that were 20, and some that were 30, but this is just the one that spoke to me. As you can see, it really picks up the light well. never know when you see a rock like this <laughs> what beauty there is inside some people are like that right you see them and you think oh, they kind of have a gruff demeanor on the outside and then who knew that on the inside they're a beautiful sparkling crystal sometimes you just have to get to know people the next stone that I found was this beautiful piece of smoky quartz now this it's almost like a phantom quartz, if you can see some of the pieces that are inside. And if I turn it to this angle, you can see through there. Beautiful rainbows in this one too. Not sure if the camera picks that up, but. Definitely beautiful in person. This piece was four dollars. I think my daughter picked this piece for herself. She liked it. It reminded her of an egg, which it is kind of shaped like an egg. This one still has the price on it. He took most of the prices off when he was ringing me up, but this is a piece of raw snowflake obsidian. And you can see here the little white spots that are in here. Any type of obsidian actually is a type of volcanic glass. This is a very good stone for grounding. It's also a good protection stone. The next 
Next up, we picked up some pieces of pyrite. My daughter fell in love with this one because you can see the perfect structural integrity of this with the cube shapes. Pyrite actually grows in these gorgeous cubes. And these are some prickly little crystals for sure. I normally don't hold them much to work with them. This is great for your solar plexus chakra, which I definitely need help with that. <laughs> That's one of my goals, and that's why I got this piece for myself. I love this piece because it has this flat part right here, and it's very smooth to the touch, so I can actually touch it and kind of rub it like as a meditation stone without it scratching me or cutting me. And I've not found one of these ever in all my years of searching for crystals that has a flat piece like this on here, so I really like that. This also, if you can see here, has these little crystal formations on here. This side of the pyrite almost has like a rainbow appearance to it, similar to bismuth. Not sure if the camera will pick that up. But yeah, this is mine. And these pieces of pyrite were $10 each. Next up, we have a fossil. My son picked up this one, and my daughter, I think, already took hers out of this box. Hers has a lot more iridescence in here. It almost has like a, a blue flash similar to Labradorite. And these have a very smooth texture to them. These were $5 each. The spheres, I believe, were either two or three dollars, so a really good deal on the spheres. My son picked up this one. I believe this is a piece of moss agate. It almost looks like something is written inside the stone there. It's very interesting. To me, it looks like the word two. I, I did not notice this before. So if you can see, there's, let me see if I can get it in the light for you guys. There's a T and then like a W and an O right there. That's very different. You can actually see like inside the stone. And for spheres, this is actually a really good price. I've seen spheres like this for $10, $20 sometimes for this size. I've seen them a little smaller than this for like even more, um, according to like, they look like little tiny marbles. It's hard to know with things like that when you get things online, what you're gonna get. But I feel like this is really a good deal for these. And then I picked up a smoky sphere. I've been looking for a piece of smoky quartz or either, I was looking for honey calcite also in spheres, but they didn't have that there. But if you can see that in the light, lots of rainbows in this piece. And for only a few dollars, this was a great deal. to tell you too with the other piece of smoky quartz I was showing you guys these are great stones for meditating with they're good grounding stones these are good healing stones smoky quartz has like a plethora of different uses you guys can look it up and see what you think for what would be best for you it's good for your really your solar plexus down through your root chakra some people use them for other things too but I found that from other crystal healers and people that I've spoken to, if you hold a stone and you feel a certain part of your body almost become activated with that stone, it doesn't matter what books or guides or the crystal Bible or something like that says that stone will help you with. It also will help you with whatever you feel it working on. So for instance, I recently was using a flower agate and I felt it all down my leg. So it probably was helping something with my bones or circulation. I cannot figure out yet. I'm still trying to do some research on that. But I felt it really strong, almost like you could feel my heartbeat suddenly through my right leg and down through my ankle. Sometimes it also just helps work on something inside of you or you feel it, you know, like with your stomach or 
your head or your hands or something like that. So it's very interesting how the energy within the crystals resonates with each person a little bit differently. Some things are just general uses and sometimes it's a very personal experience per stone that you work with. But that's the smoky quartz. And then I'm going to show you these gorgeous pieces of rainbow moonstone. I have a raw piece I ordered recently from a different seller that I'll be sharing with you guys too. Eventually I'll do a video on that. But you guys look at this piece. Can you see the blue shining through from inside this thing? The flash on this is unreal. Even when the guy was ringing me up, he went to pull this out of the little basket I was shopping with. He was like, whoa, this thing really jumped out at me. I don't know why. I was like, that's how I felt. It was in a giant bowl of crystals and it just called to me. <laughs> These little pieces, I think, were $3 each. But this is my piece of rainbow moonstone. These are great stones to have for love. They're great stones to have for like hormonal imbalances or any kind of reproductive system. And then here's my daughter's stone that I picked for her. I thought this was so pretty. It almost looks like a little heart inside here and like a turquoise tealish blue color. Totally different than the blue that's on mine. This one doesn't have as much metallic flash to it but definitely has that beautiful turquoise blue color inside and she loves that color. Mine has a little bit more purplish tint inside of it. All right, so that's those. Now this little guy I picked up, I've been wanting to use one of these to work with. I think they're called Lingam Stones or something like that. Shiva, Shiva Stone. I cannot remember now, I'll have to look back. Um, but they had them in the big sizes, and then I just wanted to get a small one. He's a cute little guy. He reminds me of a little acorn or something. But these were like meditation, like shaman stones or something like that. I don't even remember. I read something about them in one of my crystal books. But I didn't have any in my collection, and this little guy was only $2. So I thought he should come home with me. Now, I don't know what it is with me and calcites lately, but I'm so magnetized to them. I love the way they feel. I just, I don't know how to describe it, but... They feel soft. I know that sounds very strange, but they are a soft rock. So, <laughs> very uh, different type texture. And I have a lot of different calcites. I have some new calcites I was able to find just at a big box store. I'll have to share with you guys some calcites out of Mexico. This is a piece of like turquoise blue calcite. And I have a big chunk of regular like baby blue calcite. This I think is known as Caribbean calcite. And I do have a heart made out of one of these at the house. And then my daughter, I felt so bad. My husband was carrying so much stuff. We kind of loaded him down at the crystal store. And he, she found this gorgeous giant piece yesterday. And then it fell and it broke in half. And I was so excited she had found this gorgeous giant piece because this was $10 and she just fell in love with it. I told her worst come to worst, we could glue it back together if we had to, but <laughs> she said it's fine, mommy. Maybe it's most meant to be sheared in half. But this is another, the same stone. That other piece, I'm sorry, was $2, and then this larger piece was $10. But it is really beautiful. It does remind you of the ocean for sure. is a piece of blue appetite. I think both of my kids picked one of these. Yes, I believe this is called a K2. I have a flat one of these at home. This I do not remember the name of. If my son remembers the name or if I happen to catch a video of what this piece was or if you guys know just let me know in the comments down below. There were a lot of stones that were different colors than what I'm used to them being. Like they had a lot of jaspers there that I've never seen. So 
I always get excited when I find new interesting stones. These hearts were so cute and I was so excited about these. So these were only three dollars you guys. I cannot believe that. That's amazing. So here is an amethyst. Here you can see inside the crystal. It's kind of gleaming at me right there. It's almost like a little window inside of it. I think it's also known as, this might be Dream Amethyst actually, not Chevron. But I love amethyst and I didn't really have any amethyst hearts like this. And they had one other amethyst I picked up as well. I couldn't decide between the two so I got both. My daughter probably will take one. And this one also has that kind of window inside. And this one actually has a heart on it. I remember now. This one, can you guys see that? There's actually a heart there. Next we have a jasper. This is a braciated red jasper. Also really cool because it has that little window effect in the center to where you can see inside the stone, which I thought was super interesting. This is just a beautiful piece of jasper. There's another window on this side, almost shaped like a heart also. This one reminds me of a heart like with an arrow through it. Here we have a gorgeous piece of tiger's eye. Here's a little piece of rose quartz. One of my favorite stones. I have rose quartz all over my house. These are a good representation of love calmness, tranquility. This is a piece of sodalite. It was the last little sodalite heart that he had. The big difference that you can normally tell between sodalite and lapis lazuli is that this does not have the pyrite inclusions in it, which are the metallic pieces, and I'll show you a giant piece of lapis in a moment. This is another little piece of snowflake obsidian. This guy was cute, I liked all of his little polka dots. And then the last heart I got was this green adventuring. And this also has like one clear line through here that you can almost see inside the stone, which is beautiful. I've got some bracelets. Now these bracelets were unbelievably only $4 each. I think this is Amazonite. But I need to look this piece up. I just fell in love. I love anything with this turquoise blue color. My daughter and I both are always magnetized to these, but I thought this was gorgeous. And then carnelian which is great for my root chakra and for my sacral chakra, this orange. And these are bright pieces of carnelian. $4 is great for that. This is a piece of onyx. It may be obsidian. She couldn't, I, she wrote it down because she got confused herself when she was checking me out. <laughs> but black stones are always good for protection just to keep the negative vibes off and then I found this like multiple color like chakra bracelet and there's a little bit of everything on here we've got moonstone howlite moss agate we've got sodalite carnelian rose quartz tiger eye This is a piece of lapis because I see some pyrite inclusions there. And speaking of, let me show you this giant piece of lapis my husband got me because it looks like a heart and we fell in love with it when we first walked up. It was super warm in the sunlight. These hold the warmth of the sun so much and this is just such a beautiful piece of lapis. I love lapis. I don't have any big pieces like this. Here it looks like a piece of pie, but you can see the different 
ways the stone is here with the stripes. And these metallic stripes are the pieces of pyrite that I was telling you about. Do you see the gold flecks in there? So that actually is this mixed in to this stone. And that's the big difference between lapis and when you're looking at sodalite, how you can tell those two apart, because they look very similar sometimes. me of a piano. <laughs> My husband's a pianist, so that's funny. I was like, perfect. And then this giant piece of fluorite. I've been wanting a fluorite free form, and this piece is just beautiful to me. This piece was $32. This is rainbow fluorite with, you'll see the purples and the blues and the greens in here. There are a lot of rainbows. I'm not sure if this is picking this up for you guys. You can see clear inside the stone. This specific stone called to me, but I love fluorite so much, not only for the color, which I call it nature's jewelry, just because it's so beautiful, but I also keep this because it's good for people with ADD or ADHD. It's really good to help you stay focused and stay organized. So honestly, I probably need about 30 towers of this throughout my house because I'm one of those people that I start like a hundred things and I'm <laughs> so busy in my mind, I'm constantly running from one place to the next. So this is a good stone to kind of keep you focused. It's really a good stone for studying as well. Like if you're studying for school or getting ready for an exam, this is a good stone to have nearby. I noticed there's some blue in the bottom of this too. I had to stand up to get it in some different lighting, but right through here, there's like blue fluoride pieces. You can see a lot more clear in here. Let me know in the comments down below which piece you like the best, like what style crystals you like to work with and why. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. If any of you guys know about this little guy right here, feel free to leave me a comment on him as well. He's really cute to me. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.